News. Or do People's Congress, OPC, send a warning signal to Fani Coyote? Mr. Rotimi Alumo, coordinator of the Odua People's Congress in Oyo State, has characterized former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Coyote, as a lie merchant and an expert in misinformation. Alumo said this in a statement on Wednesday in the wake of accusation by Fani Coyote that the Fulani warlord, Abdullah Iskalu Wakuli, captured by OPC members on Sunday was not the real Wakuli disturbing the people of Iberipa and Okogan communities in Oyo State. Alumo said Fani Coyote's claim was misinformation taken too far. According to OPC, Fani Coyote utterances merited no response but because it came at a time when the chief to war mentor of Iberipa people is still in custody. It is reasonable to respond and clear the air on the issue. Ogden Tate said, Fani Coyote has a reputation for using his social media page to foment trouble and cause disunity in Yoruba land. He had once said that Yoruba language was an ago. How can you take such a person too serious? I remembered former President Ola Seganabas and Joe had said it once that Fani Coyote can do anything for money and survival. He lives in Abuja, romancing with the North, yet he was the first to refute the claim that the kidnapper was no, Rakuli. Where did he get his information? With his untenable claim, I know and I'm sure that the former minister is doing the bid of his paymasters, who are majorly from the North. He is the undisputed spokesperson of any politician that is ready to feather his nest. He should be warned to stop drumming the beat of disunity in Yoruba land. Fani Coyote was one of the few people that called and congratulated our leader, the Ara Onika Kanfo of Yoruba land, Ibagani Adams on Monday, on the success of the operation of the OPC. And the following day, he twisted the story refuting the claim that the man apprehended wasn't wackily.